I'm going to move us on to Article 2, which are tremor stabilizing gloves from 5 microns. And what it uses is attuned mass damper technology, which essentially is a weight supported by springs or some other type of fluid that vibrates in the opposite frequency or the opposite direction of a certain vibration to kind of absorb the kinetic energy. So Wait, uh, that uh, tuned mass dampers, that's what they use in like skyscrapers or like tall buildings to stabilize them if there's like earthquakes or anything, Exactly, right? yeah. It seems, okay. it doesn't seem really intuitive, but when you think about it, it, it's pretty easy to understand is, you know, if you have a big weight at the top of a skyscraper, the part of the skyscraper that would shake the most in the wind or during an earthquake, um, having a weight up there that's suspended by springs, the weight will actually shake in the opposite direction of the building. Right. And it reduces the overall vibrational amplitude of the building. So um, I was looking at examples where it reduced how much the building shook during an earthquake or in the wind by 90%. Um, and they Whoa. use similar technology on the gloves. It reduces the tremors uh, of these folks that have tremors in their hands by over 80% just Wait, by having uh, a weight suspended by springs on their wrists. So tremors, is that is that like Parkinson's? Um, so the specific type of tremors that 5 microns is focusing on is essential tremors. So it's actually okay. different from Parkinson's. And the main difference is that essential tremors happen when you're trying to move. Parkinson's tremors affect people when they're trying to sit still. So gotcha. they're really, really like aiming to help people that are having trouble using fine motor movements. Um, the typical one that you see a lot that takes a lot of control and you actually really realize once it is gone and it affects your life is just trying to take a spoon from a bowl and put it in your mouth. Um, just a s small, fine movements like that. Folks that have essential tremors, it at some point it progresses to the point where that's almost impossible. And essential tremors affects almost 10% of people in the world that are over the age of 50. In the U.S. alone, that's 7 million people. So you can imagine how many people around wow. the world are affected by essential tremors. And I'm, I think it's really, really awesome how they've used a simple physics, like simple principle of physics, which is kinetic energy, um, to help limit these tremors and help restore movement back to these people's lives. Wait, so this, this sounds very promising, right? But will the patients need like some, a doctor to put this onto them? Like, is it like a similar procedure as like getting on a cast or something? Well, it's, it's great in that you can get referred to it by your doctor. Um, and five microns is actually distributing, I think 300 of these to different clinics around the U S so that you can go there and try them for free. But what's even better about that is it's the cast part. It's, it's it doesn't have to be custom cast to your body. It's actually a flexible band. That's one size fits most. Nice. And you can order it directly from five microns website. Um, and I think what's also important to mention is by not focusing on the type of tremor devices that are powered by electricity or that require a neural implant. Those are great, but I imagine they can be really, really cost prohibitive. Um, something like this might be a little less glamorous, having a weight and a spring on your arm, but it's at a price point that I think will be accessible to most people and actually help a lot of people around the world who are experiencing essential tremors. And as we s spoke about, that's a lot of people. So Yeah. And, you know, the lack of electronics is actually like, there's not a lot of maintenance required, right? Like you don't need to charge it every night. You probably don't need to take it in for repairs too often. It's a simple mechanical device. Yeah, and you don't have to worry about it getting soap and water on it. That's like actually how they recommend on the on the website. It's just clean it with soap and water. Which <laughs> nice. It seems a lot more robust than say like some type of neuroelectrical device um, that would also be really, really expensive. And I think it goes back to this maxim that we all hear, which is, keep it simple stupid it's kind of a cliche but I, I huge kudos to this team at five microns for boiling this down to what it was which is a simple physics problem finding a way to solve it really with just a mass and some springs and it does it really effectively like so they did a case study with 36 people 36 different patients and it reduced their tremors by up to 80 percent um, whoa and there was a really really touching testimonial from one of the patients this woman who said they hadn't she hadn't been able to take a scoop of cereal out of a bowl and put it up to her mouth in years without spilling it all over herself and just by putting on the glove she was able to do that again which i think is really touching that's really nice wow